Hello dear viewers, welcome to our channel Revision Time. Hope you all are doing well. Today we will be starting with the chapter Recording of Transactions Class 11. In this chapter, we will be focusing on business transactions and business documents and a very important concept, accounting equation. In our previous chapters and videos so far, we have studied about the process of accounting, the qualitative character states, objectives, advantages, disadvantages of accounting. We also came across generally accepted accounting principles and studied about the various basic concepts of accounting. From this chapter onwards, we will be solving numericals where we will be uh, understanding about accounting equations uh, and we will be uh, learning to record uh, uh, entries into journals and ledger, posting them in ledger. So, before we start with our journal ledger uh, kind of sums, it's very important for every one of us to know and differentiate as what is a business transaction and what are business documents. So, business transaction as the word suggests, it's very easy that we can understand business transaction is uh, a financial transaction which involves exchange of uh, goods or service for money. A transaction which is related to business and which involves exchange of money, money worth, the goods which are can be recorded in the value of money in the books of account are known as business transactions. And what are business documents? For example, when you uh, purchase cloths from a store, they give you a bill of particulars of how many uh, clothes you have purchased, what is the price of particular cloth, what is the quantity and what date you have purchased, what is the store ka name, everything is mentioned on that document. We call it as invoice, bill or pay slip, whatever, different kinds of name. This is a business document. So, business transactions are usually evidenced by an appropriate document such as cash memo, invoice, sales bill, pay in slip, check, salary slip etc. So these are our all business documents. These are our proof that this transaction had happened on that particular day. So a document which provides evidence of transactions is called as source of document or voucher. These all documents are known as voucher. Next all such documents or vouchers which are arranged in chronological order and are serially numbered are kept in separate file. All recording in books of accounts is done on the basis of vouchers. Yes, as you see, every when you are, if you have observed a bill, you can see uh, there will be date, there will be the bill number given. So everything is recorded date wise and number wise. So its chronological order is nothing but date wise and serially numbered. All our bills are serially numbered and are kept in a file. And according to these vouchers. Accounting is done, recording of transactions in our journal or posting them in ledger is done. So let us look into voucher, what are its different parts, what are its contents. First, it is written on a good quality paper, correct. Form name must be printed on the top of, here you can see, every bill you can see, form name, the store name is written at the top. Below that, we can find the address, location of that store. Next, we have date of the transaction when did that particular event had taken place that date is recorded number of voucher to be in a serial order yes here you can see invoice number or voucher number serial number every one two three kind of serial number is recorded next name of the account to be debited or credited in the account is mentioned here we can find whatever uh, goods or whatever service is given everything is written in number wise Next, amount to be returned in figures against that. Yes, against that we are writing the amount. Description of transaction is to be given account wise. Description is given for that. Next, the person who prepares the voucher must sign his name along with the signature. So, you can see at the end we can uh, see one who is preparing the store ka, uh, owner has to sign that voucher. Next, the name and signature of authorized person is mentioned. The accountant ka signature is also mentioned. So, vouchers are used in everyday task in our accounting process in business. So, it is important component since it gets auditing for business 
financial performance easier and uh, it's more effective uh, so that it provides a track tracking system for any kind of theft or including employee theft so ochers are an important document based on which various business activities are carried on after that so these business uh, documents are a proof of evidence that this transaction had taken place so our next concept is accounting equation what is this accounting equation accounting equation in simple terms is a formula which states that assets is equal to liabilities plus capital of business now what is these assets what are liabilities and what is capital we have studied that assets are something which is owned by the business it is an economic value owned by the business which helps business to generate income we have studied assets are of two types fixed assets current assets right we have studied about various examples like cash stock furniture building land these all are the assets and which means that these are owned by the business which is helping business to generate income next we also studied about liabilities as it's a responsibility it's a responsibility of a business to pay back the money in the future in accounting period like we have seen creditors bank loans all are our liabilities it is a liability it's a kind of uh, responsibility a business is liable to pay for them next is capital we have studied it's a owner's contribution whatever owner is bringing into the business in cash or any kind is known as capital now as this equation suggest it's that assets is equal to whatever business is holding is always equal to whatever business is liable plus capital means the money invested by the owner so this is what our accounting equation states that assets is equal to capital plus liabilities now let us understand this with the help of a one more example so now here let us understand with the help of an example so let us take an example of a clothing store and now when you are starting a new business as a owner you bought cash of rupees 1 lakh into the business okay now since it is a clothing store you had a new sewing machine and now you will use it for business purpose let's assume it's worth as rupees 15000 and as a owner if you are contributing something towards the business it is termed as capital and business is liable uh, to the capital of capital given by the owner we have studied this in our separate entity concept that business is liable for the capital contributed by the owner we see that whatever asset is there is equal to liabilities correct as our accounting equation was there and in liabilities we have capital now here the total we got it as 51 lakh 15000 now let us take an another example where we will add one more item now we have cash we have sewing machine and you want to expand the business for more now you took a bank loan let us assume you have taken a bank loan of rupees 2 lakh okay of which let us take off the total here of which 2 lakh you 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 bought some goods some clothing raw material stuff for the business for production purpose you bought so that will be termed as stock for the business we will assume it as worth of rupees 50000 along with that you purchased computer let us assume you purchased computer for the business for billing purpose computer let's assume it has rupees 1 lakh correct next we have again from that bank loan you made your furniture good you upgraded the furniture sorry you upgraded the furniture for 50000 now you had invested capital of 15000 you took bank loan of 2 lakh correct of which you ha have cash of 1 lakh sewing machine 15000 and of 2 lakh you had taken you took you bought computer of rupees 1 lakh furniture 50000 upgradation stock of rupees 15 lakh now here the total 
we can see it's again 1 lakh 15,000 plus 2 lakh, 3 lakh 15,000. The total is same. So this is what the equation speaks that always assets are equal to liabilities plus capital of the business. Here we had a responsibility. We had a liability of bank loan. With that, when we are adding our capital, we are getting the total of assets we own in the business. So this is about our equation concept. Hope it's clear for you. It's nothing but a accounting equation, which is a kind of mathematical equation which speaks that assets are equal to liabilities plus uh, capital. So it uh, it's also known as balance sheet equation. Next, we have few rules for accounting equation. As we have studied, when we were studying our accounting concepts, uh, this duality concept we came across we studied that every transaction has two aspects two fold effect there is give and take relationship they to receive something we have to give something and every transaction is recorded for twice so rules for accounting equation is that every transaction has two aspects increase in liability will be adjusted from liability it's very obvious that when you are uh, now you had taken the bank loan which is a liability for you apart from that you have taken one more liability oh uh, sorry one more bank loan it's obvious that bank loan gets added to the bank loan liability is adjusted towards the liability only increase or decrease in the asset will be adjusted from the asset itself yes uh, now as the cash you have the cash now if for purchasing something if that cash goes out you will minus that cash or if you invest more you will add that cash so increase or decrease in asset will be adjusted towards the asset and increase in or decrease in the liability will be adjusted towards the liability every expense will be deducted from capital and every income will be added to capital very important to remember every expenses or losses what is happening will be deducted from the capital and whatever gains or income is uh, we are earning will be added to the capital equation should be matched that is assets is equal to liabilities plus capital asset is equal to liability plus capital so from next video we will be applying this equation in our numericals and solve the few problems if you have any doubt regarding today's video please post your questions in the, into the comments and we will solve them at earliest until then like our video subscribe our channel and happy learning